So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pasola from Curval.com and today I am going to show you how to get data from Google Docs. This is something that you asked me a few weeks ago, I couldn't find the question, I just noted it. And um, I have a little bit of time so we will go through it, it's like super easy, so stay tuned. Okay, so first of all, what we need to do is to actually go to Google Docs. I'm already here and I'm guessing that what you want is an Excel file uh, that you have in there or a Google Sheet or whatever they call it, you know, Excel. So um, it is actually very, very simple. What you need to do is to pick the Excel file that you want from within Google and once you are in there, you just go here to File, Share. <laughs> I should probably remove my Outlook and copy the link, okay? And once you copy the link, we're going to do a few things. So I'm here in Word, you can better use Node++ plus plus or, you know, um, Notepad++ plus plus, or you can use a Notepad or anything that you have Word, in this case Word works also. And we are going to copy the link. And to make this work, the only thing we need to do is to change these with these. Like really easy, right? Make sure you don't have any spaces. And you just copy the new, um, create the URL, you go to Power BI, you go to get data from web, put the URL, and voila. Well, you remember what I said about spaces? <laughs> No spaces. There you go. Okay, now, once you're in here, you will have the possibility to choose which sheet you would like to have. This is in Swedish, but you know, this is sheet one, sheet two. And uh, you either click edit or load. We're going to click edit because I want to show you something else. Okay, so it's here we're in Power BI and the uh, as you can see, we got the contents of the Excel file inside Power BI from Google Docs. So works like a charm. Now, you remember that I've been talking about functions and with Imke we're talking about how to reuse functions. I've actually created a function for um, how to get data from Google Docs. So um, the way it works, I will give you a link to GitHub and I should probably put in the documentation also the link to GitHub. No, it doesn't matter because it's a link to itself. Forget it. Um, here, I will put it in the description box on the video. You have here get data from Google Docs. If you click on there, the only thing you need to do is to copy this into your Power BI file and then you will get this function. I have a video on that, I will link below and it will pop something on one of the corners. And the only thing you need to do here if you copy the function is just to copy the key. So what is the key of everything that we seen? The key is not that, it's between D and the export function. So that is the key. Let's go in there, paste and click invoke. And then you will get the possibility to choose which sheet you would like to have. So this is like a super express way to actually get your Google Docs inside Power BI. So I really recommend you to use the function. It's so much faster, so much easier. You don't have to do that much. Uh, the only thing you will need to get is the actual key, okay? I have it here as a parameter because I thought I would copy from here. I didn't do it, but don't worry. This is actually not needed. Um, so um, do you want to know how to create these kind of functions? I also have a video. Make sure you check that out, okay? Um, that was all for today. It was like a super quick video, but it's so easy to actually get data from Google Docs. I should probably say that those links will be public unless 
Google has changed that. But every time you share a file, the data went public. So be careful on how you use them, okay? Um, but other than that, super easy. So uh, as usual, if you like the video, let me know by liking it or by sharing it with somebody. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and uh, click the bell to receive notifications. I'll see you again, hopefully on Friday. I'm going to have a mini vacation, but I will try to make it on Friday because I know you like tax Fridays. Okay, but have a great evening. Bye.